Ladies and gentlemen, how's it going? So today I'm gonna to show y'all how to replace the wheel motor. So these are drive wheels. Well, let's flip this one over. This is a drive wheel. You have a left side, well, right side, left side. It goes up. So if you're looking at it like this, you got right side, left side. When you flip it over, this is your right side, that's your left side. These are your drive wheels. And I'm gonna show y'all how to replace the motors in these. <clears throat> so you have a little variable speed motor right here and it's geared uh, right or left. They're the same motor, just geared different and uh, put in a little different. I'm gonna show y'all how to replace that motor but keep your housing, gear box, your wheel and your uh, frame. So let me get Ooh, I forgot. <clears throat> you will need needle nose or a pair of snippers. So you've removed your wheel from the rope. This is where we're going to start. If you don't know how to do this process, it's super simple. You want to remove one, two, three, four, five Torx head screws. Long shaft, and once you remove those, you're gonna have this. This will be what you have. The silver pin right here has to come out. Before we can take that pin out, we gotta just pull this spring right off. Now we can manipulate it to where we can get these pliers. Needle nose are a lot better than this, but I don't have any on hand, so. Grab a hold of it really tight and yank it out and it's separated all right so there's that i'm going to switch so i have a i have a a left and a right one so i'm going to switch and put this one back together because i know all it's still good there's no point in removing it so this is the same side and i have my little harbor freight tool here uh, let's see. Give me a T10 Torx bit. And we're going to take out these. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and take that cover off. Set the cover over to the side. And you're gonna see it looks a lot like this. So you have, you have the wheel gear, the big gear, the medium middle gear, and your driving gear. And go ahead and remove the white one. This is the one that attaches to the wheel on the inside and attaches to the secondary drive wheel. Take that off. Put them in order, that way you know where to go. And now we have two Phillips head screws. Stripped out. Got a screwdriver. Put a little bit more force on this. These are usually pretty tight in there. Dang. Yep, both of those. Just stripped out on me. And you'll run across this and make sure you have the right screwdriver for the right job. And of course, I didn't bring out any screwdrivers to fix this issue.
I'll just have to do a uh, another wheel. As you can see, guys, even guys that do this all the time have issues. Both of those stripped. Um, but as you can see, I got this one out. Um, ain't nothing to it. This is the opposite side, so we can compare gears anyway. So, be nice to be able to compare some gears. Yeah, sorry to waste y'all's time on that. But, like I said earlier, crap happens. As you can see, these housings are broken anyway, so these motors are gonna come out. Okay, so first thing you're gonna notice is these two are the same. Next, you're gonna notice these two are the same. And you're gonna say, well, what's the difference? See, orientation of the wheel motor itself. So when this one turns uh, when this one turns right, it would be turning left on this side. That's the only difference. Same exact motor. Same exact gears, everything. It's just the orientation of the motor is different. Let's see if I can get these out. What happens is these motors get hot. This plastic wants to melt and hold these screws in. They're not, they're just cheap old screws. There ain't nothing fancy about them. So they will strip out pretty easy. All right, there you have it. Now you can test it. If this gets stuck, remember, if you've seen any of my other videos, I, I stress, if this here black piece on the end is stuck, it won't turn either. So, that's how you take one out. And then here is a new housing that's in good shape. About the same size. Uh, this one's the opposite. Go ahead and try to take this one out. Uh, nope, that one's stripped too. I'll be darn. This one's a stripper strip. Ain't no point in doing this one, it's the same side. But you get the picture, guys. Let's take all that apart. And then all you do is put the new motor in and wire it up. You're good to go. Put the gears back in. I guess I could show you all that. So you're gonna take, find the two holes farthest from each other. You're gonna be like, oh, how do I line this up? Well, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Is that ain't right? So, if that's not right, is this right? And you're gonna notice different models will be positioned different, and it just depends on how you pull it out. The best thing is to mark the old motor. That way you just get the pinholes in the right spot. So you just go ahead and bolt that back up. Let's go ahead and do that. Then you're gonna drop in your first gear, make sure it connects, spins, and drop in your next one. And don't be holding the motor. But there we go. It will spin. Now if you hear a grinding like that, if you see closely that metal housing, I mean that plastic housing 
might be worn. And those two top gears aren't meeting. See how that spins? So you want to check that if you have a, like a rah, sound and the wheel's not turning, that could be it. Well, guys, that's about it. I know this was kind of a crazy video because of all the little ups and downs I had, but there's really no point in me re, you know, redoing the video when it's something that you could experience. So it's good to show y'all. Make sure you have the right size screwdriver, which I didn't know. I'll admit that. And make sure you have a backup plan to get it out, which I did not. And make sure you have a backup plan on what to do if you can't get it out. Which, I have a bunch of parts, so it doesn't matter for me. But if y'all need parts, make sure to check the listing below. I have an eBay store set up down there. You can just click the link and head there. Also, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more. I release content weekly, so... Let's try to hit that 10,000 sub mark. It would really mean a lot to me.